Hi, and welcome back to Messy Goes Wild. I'm Messy, and this is a segment where we'll be decoding your dreams, or dreams in general, technically. <laughs> so let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about chills and coldness. And again, you're going to see that a lot of this can be um, your like factual or, um, what's the other name? Literal. Literal dreams, which is um, weird, but we are going to discuss this. So when we talk about our passions, we often describe them in terms of temperature, whether they be hot or cold, okay? When we have a dream in which we find ourselves to be chilly or cold, um, it is therefore likely that our unconscious mind is directing our attention to our emotions. And the meaning can be positive or negative, depending on the context and our dream self's feeling. While it seems many of our associations with feeling chilled or cold are not positive ones, there are a few scenarios in which finding one's dream self-feeling cool can bode happiness and mental well-being. If your dreaming self felt pleasantly cool, have you recently felt cool or suave because you finally worked up the courage to ask your big crush out on a date and he or she said yes? You're feeling like nice and cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Um... Or, have you really buckled down to study for an upcoming exam and now feel cool, calm, and collected about your ability to go past that exam? I actually don't really associate stuff like that, but if you do, I guess this is a really cool thing for you. Alternatively, if you have recently been under a lot of stress during waking hours, could your dream have been your unconscious's way of fulfilling your need to relax or chill out? The same explanation could be applied if you have been feeling very angry or hot tempered in the real world. Okay, negative interpretations. Let's get down to the negative, the dirty, the bad. <laughs> Let's get down to it. Let's figure it out. If you dreamed that you were very cold, did you awake to find that you were, in fact, suffering from a chill? Here we go. If this is the case, it may be that you were ill with a fever or that you simply needed to put an extra blanket on your bed. So if it was like in wintertime and you're feeling cold in your dream, it could just be that you left the window open and that you're cold in your house. Okay? I, I don't know why I think dreams like that are really cool, but um, those are your little literal dreams, okay? It's literally related to your waking life. Um, but if this was not the case, then your unconscious mind may be reacting to your present mood or the circumstances of your waking life. For instance, could it be that your relationship with your girlfriend has gone cold and that you need to find a way to turn up the heat <laughs> or make things exciting again? Or could it be that someone in the real world has been giving you the cold shoulder, um, behaving coldly towards you? Or treating you with indifference? Hmm. Or is it you who is giving off the cold vibes to someone else? I think that's so cool that your dream can tell you, like, both perspectives. It could be somebody else's perspective of you or your perspective of somebody else. I always thought it was just your perspective of other people that would happen. But your brain can also tell you to be a better person, okay? So listen to it. Um, if your dream involved feelings of apprehension or fear, has something or someone been making your blood run cold during waking hours? Or have you been feeling emotionally frozen or paralyzed? Alternatively, have you been contemplating committing an act in cold blood? Okay, so again, like most stuff, they there's two meanings to it. There's two sides. It could be happy, it could be sad, it could be, you know... It really depends on how you felt in your dream. <laughs> this has been Decoding Dreams with Messy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like. <laughs> and subscribe for notifications. Also comment down below if you guys have any comments or questions. Or if you guys enjoyed this Dream Decoding with Messy. Thanks for watching.